What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. We are here in Dinky Park, and we are at the start of year two. Again, this is only a two-year objective, so we're actually really close to the end. Um, one thing I wanted to do... Um, actually, before I do that... So this this ride, uh, between a rock and a hard place, is chairlift. I see being problematic. You see how long this line is? Everyone wants to ride it on this side, and absolutely no one wants to ride it on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and change uh, the wait for full load. I'm gonna get rid of that, so that way if there's no one in line, which there currently is, it will send an empty car every so often. I don't know how long Looks like minimum wait time, five seconds. So every five seconds, if there's no one that wants to ride it, it will send an empty car. Uh, and that will allow for our guests on the other side of the park to not have to wait as long to ride it. Um, yeah. Okay, so another thing I wanted to do, uh, it's actually the thing I was trying to get to, and then I realized that was an issue. Um, earlier I said that this ride, uh, the Barely a Boomerang, was, I was okay with it because it gave a different intensity rating for people that didn't like things that were that as exciting, yada, yada, yada. Um, I was just kind of making excuses to not have to redo this thing. I'm going to redo part of this. Um, I'm not happy with how it came out. Uh, it's not very exciting the people in the very back of the car like watch them real quick this would be such a boring ride and i don't think i want that in my park so all they do is they go up like nothing they go up a little bit and right back down and then immediately hit the station brakes that's not fun at all uh, at least i don't think so so one thing i like to do whenever i demolish a ride or redo part of a ride is i put a do not enter sign in front of the queue that way Everyone that's in line can still ride the ride. Uh, it doesn't matter. I could kick them all off. But part of me is a human being. And I like making sure I'm playing this game in a way that I would actually operate a theme park. Or at least close to it. Uh, so we're going to delete that piece of footpath real quick. So that way we don't need to worry about that sign. And then we are going to close this sucker down. And do some remodeling. So, I had a plan. Uh, it might actually jack up the intensity quite a bit. Um, but that's okay. Um, what it is now is no bueno. So, I'm going to remove this entrance because it's going to be... Or this uh, queue because it's going to be very much in our way. Uh, we're still going to do a similar design. But I want to put a loop in this thing. It's ridiculous how... You know, actually, I don't want to do that tight of a turn. We're going to back this off and do the entrance right here. Um, we'll go... Yeah, so we'll do that turn right there. Because I'm wanting to do... What is going on here? Uh, so I want to do a wide turn like that. And then I want to go up and do our loops and... Or a loop, singular. Not loops, plural. Um, actually, no, I can't do that quite yet. So we're going to flatten this out a little bit. Uh, that should get us by, but for look's sake, we're going to flatten that all out to that level. Yeah, that should work. Uh, okay, and so we need to loop to the right, it looks like. Vertical loop right. And then we will go right back up. Uh, one thing this... Or one issue this does pose... Uh, let me look at what I can purchase land-wise. Okay, so we can do land right there. That actually works out very well. Because I wanted to expand my footpath in this direction to access all of this. Um, and with this ride here, I was thinking I wouldn't be able to anymore. But that works out nicely. I can clear this at height probably 9, maybe 10, depending on if that curvature gets in my way. Uh, and I can expand it this direction. And then obviously I'll buy some more land so we have somewhere for it to go. Uh, but yeah, and then at this part, this is where I wanted to do that kind of... Let's try going the other direction. If we spin it to the left, 
Does that give us any supports to make it look somewhat realistic? It does. Awesome. Uh, and let me double check the height markers here. Uh, I guess I could just do this. Height marks on red tracks. So that's at 18 and that is at 22. So there's no, no possibility that will be uh, flying off of the track. So let's go ahead and test this. I believe it still keeps the same settings. Uh, reverse and climb launch mode. Yep. So we'll test that. And I think, yeah, this is the same color I had it. For whatever reason, it didn't look like it was. So, but it is. No worries there. And I'm not too worried about this turn here. Uh, with a steel roller coaster, it's not that big a deal. And that's not even going that fast. So... Okay, I think that's going to be much, much, much more successful. And we should actually be able to maintain a decent line. Uh, so we'll test that once more. And then while we do that, we'll build the line. Um, and I'm thinking for this... I still kind of want it to be over here for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, that's a lot better. Uh, we had low, low, low last time. Uh, so definitely an improvement. And, yeah, I still want it to, this is actually going to, I'm going to make it a long line. Um, but, yeah, for whatever reason, I really want it to go on this other side here. So, we're going to do just that. And, again, it's a very long line. Ooh, and actually, yeah, we'll do that. Because that looks like, oh, whoa. Is that guy under the path? Where did he go? I don't know what just happened. I hope that guy doesn't get lost. <laughs> okay. Can I do see-through paths? Height marks on paths. See-through... Faceland? No, that's not what I want. <laughs> Remove vertical faces. No, that removes all supports and sides of land. I don't know why you'd ever need that view. Um, we're going to assume that that guest is fine. And we can also charge twice as much, more than twice as much. So we can charge 490 for this thing. Um, I think this is going to do so much better. And I'm glad I made that change. I was somewhat reluctant. Um, but now that we have people wanting to actually ride it, we'll go ahead and check full load so that we maximize our money-making potential. Okay, so Barely a Boomerang has received a facelift and is much nicer now, making, hopefully, making us a lot more money. So, okay, what now? I know we unlocked a, ooh, stand-up steel coaster on its way. Sorry, the roof of my mouth just started itching, and I don't know if you're like me, but whenever I get allergies, it's just, things just start itching. Mainly my mouth, or the roof of my mouth, and the back of my throat, and my eyes, now, right now, it's the roof of my mouth, and it is driving me insane currently. Okay, I just had to take a sip of water real quick, because that was... Ugh. Okay, let's... What do we have room for? Probably not much right now, so we'll have to buy some more land. Yeah, we don't have room for anything. But we have a good amount of money to our name, and we're actually doing really well with our objective, I believe. Um, we need a park value of 10,000 by the end of this year. And we currently have a park value of 14,000. So, we are doing just peachy. So, uh, let me go ahead and buy some more land. I don't know if I'll buy this hilltop portion. I don't see myself putting anything here just because it's difficult to build on. Um, but I am going to purchase out some more. How much? I don't know, but uh, we'll find out when I get back. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, we just finished building quite a bit. Or not building, expanding quite a bit. Um, we have... We might end up... Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing, guys? I just woke up from a nap like five minutes before recording this video. Or this episode. So, mm, I'm still waking up, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we bought probably half of this 
a uh, chunk of land here, we might buy the rest of, not the rest of it, but another good chunk as needed very soon. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. I don't know what just happened. Um, I received some sort of error and my game crashed. It lost my save. Um, so I went ahead and tried to recreate to the best of my ability and I'm pretty sure I did everything exactly the same. Um, so if anything looks any different, I apologize. Uh, but I tried to recreate all that. So if we have some additional time in this episode, um, it's because I can do things in this park so much faster when I don't talk about them or when I'm not really worried about recording. I can just do uh, and not explain. So it goes a little bit quicker. So if we have some extra time, which we clearly do, um, that is why. So again, I have no idea what happened. I had never seen that error before. Um, but luckily, it didn't screw up my video recording or my audio recording, so I just didn't stop those, kept it going, and uh, here we are. So, let's pick up where we left off. Uh, so, Barely Boomerang is definitely doing much better now that we have a proper ride there. Um, and I don't think this will clear as is. And again, I am glad to be proven wrong. <laughs> It's hard to estimate heights um, from so far away. Like, there's no way I could tell that this is going to be level with that. Um, but I just kind of did. So, actually, I did it poorly. So, ignore me, guys. Um, whenever I do walkways, I don't like doing them directly on the water. I think it looks unrealistic i've never seen anything that is at water level for the sake of uh flooding happening um but yeah so we're gonna run this just all the way down uh and hopefully this will serve as a good actually no we're gonna end it go away go away dude we're gonna end it right there uh, it will actually do our our second food court uh, type thing at the end here. And then we'll build all of our rides. I think we did red umbrellas. What did we do? I've slept since then. Yes, red umbrellas. And then we'll get the rest of all that going. Um, what did I want to say? Yeah, I want to end it right here. Dang it. Go in your proper place, balloon stall. That's not where I want you to be. Oh, this is not going to be easy, is it? Oh, I don't want to have to deal with this. No, snap onto it. The only way to get this to work <laughs> is... Actually, what if I, if I add path there? Does that make it do anything differently? No, it doesn't. Okay, so the only way to get around this is I'm going to guesstimate that I'm doing three stalls on each side. Could be wrong, but to start with, we'll do three stalls on each side. Uh, this is kind of annoying because I have to lower the land back down and redo the water. Um, but that's actually a kind of cool looking design. I might do that in another park where I actually want it. Right now, I don't. Uh, and we did, I believe, red balloons as well. I didn't realize we did red balloons and red umbrellas, but hey, sometimes my brain puts things together that I didn't intend to. So that works out nicely. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish building these here real quick. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a good chunk of our park to add, and we'll kind of branch out walkways off of this to get to the rest of the rides we end up building, which hopefully, now that we have a little bit of extra time, we can build two this episode. Um, I'm going to try to do that, but if I don't, I didn't promise anything, so yeah, <laughs> we'll be going on with our usual kind of one per episode, but I'm going to try, uh, and then we need a restroom. And we'll actually do one more restroom uh, back over um, 
Ooh, perfect. We'll do one restroom right here. Fill that spot. This is still Dinky Park. We gotta make it feel somewhat crowded, so. But yeah, look at this line. We didn't have that kind of line earlier. But now we do. So. And yeah, I'm glad I made this change. We're actually getting somewhat of a line. You can see part of three people there. Five now. Uh, but this one is... This one has gone down completely, and I'm very happy for that. Um, everyone said it's great. Really good value. Can't afford it. Okay. So no one's worried about the line being too long or... Let's make sure it's 142, 140. Okay, yeah, so we're still charging the correct amount. Pop! Okay, let's build us a roller coaster. Uh, we unlocked a water slide, so we're definitely going to do one of those in this park. But I think I want to start with a wooden crazy rodent roller coaster. Mainly because you can tuck these into a very tiny space. And I mentioned last time that that's kind of what I want to do. Because, again, this park space is a valuable commodity. Um, right here will work. And I remember the last one of these I built, I built the station kind of long, and I didn't really need to do that. Um, so I'm not going to. This station will be very short. And I need to make sure that I leave room for, and actually, I'm going to build the entrance and exit before I do anything else. Uh, we'll actually do the entrance and exit right here, because I think I could do something kind of cool. I think. I could be very wrong. So if I... I don't know if this is going to just be insanely crazy, but... Um, we will do... that. Because I want the walkway to be able to go underneath this. And I want it to look symmetrical there. So. Okay, so we started at 18. We're down to 15. That should be fine. Drop it again. Flatten it out. And then we're going to try to make this very condensed. Um, we're going to try, at least. Hopefully, we can succeed in that endeavor. And again, I don't want to make it any lower than 9 because I actually need to go up one here to clear that. And then, yeah, this is going to be... It's going to look pretty bad. Um, or at least what I would think is bad. Um, it actually... Some of these rides, they go against what I think looks aesthetically pleasing. But I know that there are people that would like them and also it's one thing to have a ride like this in real life it's another thing to have a park like this in this game um all these supports they make it very hard to see anything but that can also be really cool um because it's just the chaos of just a ride just all over the place and i'm hoping i can make this do with some more turns and such I mean I'm definitely going to so I think right now we're in between the two which I think looks nice uh, so if I drop this down to eight that only puts us one above this and two below that so I would need to go I'm gonna do a chain there just because I'm not sure what kind of momentum we'll have if we don't need it, we don't need it. But if we do need it, we have it. And again, it was needed. So, okay. I'm trying to get back to the station right now. This is a decently long ride for the short station that we have. And I'm hoping this comes out okay. Uh, I don't build these often. This is only the second one I've done. Is that in the... Okay, it's not the land. That's good. Now it's the roller coaster. What did I do here? Oh, okay. Um, I don't really want to go underground. But 
I don't really have a choice. Um, we'll go ahead and lower this chunk right here. I don't know exactly what we're looking at, but we'll lower all of this by one. Uh, and that should allow us to do that. Because now we're at eight. Because I think the track that was in our way was at ten. Uh, oh, boy. I think that lines up. We're probably not anywhere close. No, we're running into the exit. Okay, so... So that still needs to drop one, go straight, turn left one, turn right one. See through supports. I can't see anything I'm doing. Okay, so we're... We're not quite where we need to be. That's fine. Uh, we'll go out this direction and drop it. And so that'll hug the path, and I think that always looks kind of cool. And then we'll end it. So yeah, building these kind of rides, it challenges me because you can't see anything as you build it. Uh, okay, so that is the chaos that is a wooden crazy road and roller coaster, which again is a mouthful. So let's get these entrances and exits going, or the queues and whatnot. Uh, if I can line it up, you know what? We're gonna just gonna take it from, take it from the path here because nope, not that, not that, and I don't want anyone drowning. Oh my gosh! Okay, we have a guest that might be drowning. Oh my gosh, that was fast. No. Go away. No. <laughs> that was so fast. That guy couldn't swim in the slightest. How was that a thing? Did he not take swimming lessons as a kid? Jeez. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted to do to happen. That's what I want to have happen. There we go. Um... Man, how did... Why do our guests like to die on us? It's not my fault. That's what I'm talking about. They can go through these stretches of invisible... Or not invisible. Not yet finished footpath. Uh, so it's kind of dangerous to build that way. But right now, it's not wanting me to build from the exit. So what, are, what other options do I have? Uh, I guess I could build it out from here. And then demolish what I don't need. Just to avoid any deaths. Yeah, we're going to do just that. <laughs> okay. Um, we'll give this ride its own handyman. Mechanic, not handyman. Uh, we will need another handyman for this area of our park as well. Does that allow him to get to where he needs to go? I think it does. And then we'll hire a new handyman for this area as well. And this guy, again, don't like placing these footpaths underwater because it's so difficult to see but he can cover all of that okay and we just got a cotton candy so let me build this real quick while I'm looking at it no let me not do that because uh, land is a pain and I will go back and fix those I just realized I didn't but first let's go ahead and take a look at actually I kind of like the paint jobs on everything. I think I want to change the mouse cars. Um, I think I always like the mouse cars better than the mine trucks. Uh, I think they're... I don't know. They look more fun. Ooh. And it just changed the color for us. Which I like. Let's see if changing the support color would change how this looks at all. I'm thinking I like it how it is. Which I most certainly do. We will leave it as white. Um, and what would be a good name for a, a small mouse trap? Um, oh, microscopic, if, oh my goodness, I cannot type microscopic mouse trap because we're sticking with our small name themes. Uh, we are May. We still have June left. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. 
at car one of microscopic mousetrap and let's hope this actually works Well, that didn't get very far <laughs> uh, so we'll go ahead and back this off real quick and see if we can get this any higher which we can that should hopefully fix that I'm hoping uh, no we need to get into that from a steep drop so this will need to go down we need to go one over and then down no. This and then steep. Too high for supports. If I raise that, will that fix it? It will, but it still doesn't get us where we need to go. One, two, then down. There we go. Okay. So, that was attempt number one. Here goes attempt number two. Let's hope this one goes a little bit better. Okay, that crest of this hill was scarily slow. Um, I'm almost worried to test more cars on it in case it doesn't want to cooperate. But again, with guests on it and momentum and all that jazz, it will work out very well. And oh my goodness, this came out way better than I was expecting. I am completely okay with having to do that twice. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so one of those didn't go back. So we absolutely need people on this ride or it's going to crash. <laughs> that is a scary thing. <laughs> but we can charge $7.20 for this ride. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the most expensive ride we've built yet. And it started out as a failure. <laughs> so let's watch this guy real quick. Again, with the momentum of people in the car, we shouldn't have that issue. But it shouldn't even be quite close. Yeah. So, yeah, they definitely get a lot more speed. And this time around, and I'm very glad I put those chains there. I didn't think I... Well, part of me thought I would need them, obviously, because I put them there. But I was hoping I wouldn't need him, but I'm glad I did, because we clearly do. But man, this is going to be popular. I am excited about that. A 725 excitement rating. That is nuts. Um, that might be the best ride I've ever built. No, that's not true. Best ride I've built in recent history. From a purely financial standpoint, at least. Uh, so this all has to go back down. Oh, and I don't have to readjust the water because we left part of the water level still there. Had we completely demolished or gotten rid of the water, that would no longer be possible. Uh, see-through scenery, see-through rides, and see-through supports. Because now I can do what I want. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Uh, and we'll actually lower that right. Nope that corner right there for the sake of it looking nice still okay i wish there was a way to uncheck all the stuff and go back to go back to default oh whoa i don't know if i knew you could do that removing the grid lines honestly with how geometric this game is i think it looks better with the grid lines 
from a like natural beauty standpoint. I think it looks a lot better with grid lines. So, okay, so we're in June. We have just under a month left. I'm not going to have time to build a full-fledged anything, um, but we could build a boat hire. That could be something we're able to do. Um, let me, let me see. So this is going to be real simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll be fine. And this can easily go over this. Um, the entrance and exit are going to have to. Uh, let me actually build or purchase one more tile here. Uh, this will allow me to do what I'm envisioning much, much easier than what I would have to do otherwise. I think that's what I needed. Uh, so we're gonna actually going to push the station back one because I'd like to have the entrance and exit on this side. And if I do it how I just was about to, it would have worked out not so well. So, um, we'll actually make this a little bit more exciting than that. That looks way worse than I thought it would. Um, we've got a little bit of room to work with here, so let's, let's work with it. I don't see why not. We can go under, so let's do that. That looks kind of cool. And we'll go, can only build this on water. I guess I'm running into land, that's okay. We'll just go under all the supports here. I think that's kind of cool looking. Okay, so we are wrapping this right up right now. Almost back to the station, or not back to the station, but back to the portion we have built. And then we'll do an entrance right at the front. Which way is the front? Which way did I start this? I think I started this way. Building it in parts like that kind of confused me. Okay, so that's the center here is right there. That's one, two tiles to the side. So I want to do this one, two tiles to the side. Uh, I think I'm going to expand my park this direction. So we'll put that there just so we can kind of get an idea of that. And why did I close out of that? We still need it. We'll do that right there. And then the line, I don't need it to be long. This is such a simple ride. I am not worried about it. Mechanic. No, mechanic. If you're not covering that, you now are. Perfect. And then let's do rowing boats, two passengers, and bumper boats. I like bumper boats because they move a little quicker than rowboats do. So it gets people through the ride a lot faster. And I'm trying to think of a B word. Not a, not a dirty B word. A nice B word. Uh, so we did itty bitty log. What if we did, took a a note out of a nursery rhyme and did itsy bitsy itsy bitsy boating barge boating barge sure that's not at all a thing but you know who cares <laughs> certainly not i okay let's paint this i think that color scheme is ugly the gold i kind of like uh, what would white look like no we have white here um, let's do a, a red look kind of good. Ooh, I kind of like that. I no longer like the yellow though. We'll do white for that. And then the boats can be that same color red with white seats. Or should we change that? Should we do red boats with white seats or white interiors? Nope, I liked it the other way better. Sometimes you just have to see it to know for sure. You get an idea in your head and you think it could work and it doesn't. And look how easy that was to build and look how much we can make, whoa. Why did it just drop? Did you guys see that? It was like 340 something, now it's 327. Oh well, not like we're hurting for the money. So 320, there we go. Okay, guys, we are in July for the second time in this episode. Um, 
I think this came out really nice. I am very happy with the microscopic mousetrap and itsy bitsy boat or uh, boating barge. So, and we also made some changes to barely a boomerang, some setting modifications to between a rock and a hard place. I think we've made some good progress on our park. Uh, next episode, we will finish buying out a little bit more of our park and I'll attempt to build two rides. I'm gonna try to do a water slide and something else. A bobsled maybe, since we have so much money. Stand up steel, I don't know. We're gonna do a water slide and I'm going to attempt to do something else, just like I attempted this episode. You saw how that worked out. But all right, guys, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys very much for watching. And until next time, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.